live in the heart of downtown Red Deer. This is Volscat! All right, everyone. Time to focus, pay attention, and start the parent-teacher meeting. Are there any issues anyone would like to table today? You mean other than the giant ball of fiery death in the sky? The one that keeps getting bigger? Here we go again. <laughs> Miss Raptor, we talked about this. It's obviously just the second son. It's completely safe. Besides, we're here to talk about the children. Is there any of those issues anyone would like to discuss? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a thing. <laughs> Please go ahead, Mr. Tops. Uh, thanks, Mr. Terry. This is a little hard for me to bring up, but uh, I'm worried about my daughter. She feels threatened in her P.E. class. You see, Mr. Rex's son, T.J. Rex, has been chasing her around. He tried to bite her yesterday. Mr. Rex, is this true? Well, yeah, but predators will be predators, am I right? <laughs> Mr. Terry, this is supposed to be a no-bite zone. How is my daughter supposed to feel safe? Well, uh... Listen, Threehorn. How, how's my son supposed to pay attention when you let your daughter come to school showing so much flank? <laughs> we can't expect him to control himself. Mr. Rex, that kind of talk's very inappropriate. Well, that kind of talk is making me hungry. And now I see where your daughter got those meaty thighs from. <laughs> Mr. Rex! You need to calm down. Remember what the court said. If you or your son have any more incidents, you're going back to the tar pits, mister. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, just a little, got a little out of hand. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Rex. I, I should have brought it up. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably talk about something else. Um, 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 oh, I know. How, how rude of me. Everyone, say hello to our newest parent, Mrs. Trudon. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for having me. Mrs. Trudon and her son just moved here from East Pangea. So, so Mrs. Trudon, how have you found Jurassic Park Middle so far? Oh, everyone's been so nice, but uh, we have had a little bit of trouble adjusting. You see, our way of life is a little different to all yours. My species is openly omnivorous. <laughs> oh my, how irregular. I've never met an Omnivore before. Now, now, everyone. The school board's very clear. They want us to be open to all lifestyles, even Omnis. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Terry. I promise you we're harmless. I just want to raise my son somewhere that we can fit in peacefully. I don't know. This is pretty messed up. <laughs> See, there's herbivores and there's carnivores. It's the way it's always been, since the land before time. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I just have to ask, which bathroom do you all use, the meats or the veggies? Well, not that it's any of your business, but we use whichever bathroom we feel comfortable with, whichever group we identify with that day, I guess. <laughs> So you're telling me that my baby girl has to share a bathroom with someone who just might eat her? Your daughter has nothing to fear from my son. He would never eat a classmate. He mostly just scavenges on the way home from school. No, 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 not happening, no way. I'm not gonna have my son share a bathroom with some leaf eater. You know what herbivores do sometimes? They eat rocks. You think I want to have my son find a toilet full of butt rocks? No! <laughs> Mr. Rex, you better calm down. Don't tell me what to do, you piece of meat. Oh, you know what? I ought to eat her. Then this will all go away. No. Terry's going to do it. Do something. All right, everyone. Code Rex. Code Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Go! <laughs> I hate this trick. You know I can't see you when you don't move. That's it. I'm gonna go eat a janitor. <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna do it. I better go. <sighs> I guess.
guess that's meeting adjourned then. But we haven't talked about the ball of death in the sky. Crack up. Thank <laughs> you.